So we'll compare these different groups of people over time. And what we find is that there is an impact, a significant impact on uh, food security, on health outcomes, and on financial inclusion. Now, in terms of food security, we look at monthly per capita consumption expenditure, which has actually increased uh, close to 40% over uh, two years. But that's not all. We also look at number of meals foregone. And what we find is that the households which are likely to get employed in National Rural Employment Guarantee, they are uh, less likely to cut down on meals. So they're having many more meals and uh, on an average than households which do not get employed in these schemes. And uh, the impact on health uh, is not just physical, it's also mental health because mental health is very uh, closely connected with entrepreneurial ability and well-being of a household. So what we find is that uh, more than 5% of the households have self-reported improvements in health outcomes. And this is also in sync with reduction in uh, expenses on healthcare. So, you know, when households reduce expenses on health, you're not really sure whether it's because they are poorer or is it that they're getting, you know, better off physically. But when you look at this number of reduction in the expenses on health along with improvements, then you know that basically it is moving in the same direction and there is a positive impact. On mental health, we actually find that close to 8% of the households are uh, likely to report, uh, you know, increase in uh, well-being, mental well-being, meaning there's a reduction in anxiety and depression levels. And there's also a certain composite measure. They really evaluate themselves on where they think they lie in this metric. And we find that close to 8% households are better that way. For financial inclusion, we look at where they borrow from. What is the portfolio of choices? Are they now moving away from informal to formal? And while we don't find significant impacts on borrowing behavior, we do find savings to improve significantly as a result of uh, participating in the National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. Uh, close to 9% households report an increase in their savings as a result of participating in the National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme.